G'day team, this is Emily looking here for our weekly training tip. Today we're going to be going through the back body line drill. Now this is a great drill to uh, teach people how to stay tight through movements and also to improve your pressing strength. Now the focus is keeping that anterior chain activated and maintaining tightness throughout the entire of the movement without having any weak links in the chain. Okay, so we're going to need a dowel today and a small counterweight of about a 1.25 kilo weight. Okay, we're going to lay onto our back. We're going to press that uh, dowel up into the air and we're going to pretend to snap that stick out. We're blocking the elbows, keeping tension on the stick at all times. We're then going to raise our feet up to the roof, pushing our lumbar or lower back into the floor, pointing our toes, tensing our quads, and engaging our glutes at the same time. Now the idea is to lower the arms and the legs at the same time without letting that lower back peel up off the floor. Go down only as far as you can without the lower back peeling off the floor and return to the start position. You can also use an isometric hold at the end of the movement like so. And rest. There you have it guys. So the idea, don't your feet or your hands touch the ground behind you or uh, underneath your feet. Don't lose tension. The moment that lower back peels up off the ground, like so, we are to reset and start the movement again. Okay, do this for three to four sets of five to ten reps a piece or you can do 30 second holds at the bottom of the uh, back body line drill to work that. Uh, stay tight, uh, use it to use for your pressing or your prep work for your pressing, sorry. See the carryover it has by staying tight through the uh, interior chain, keeping those abs tight to then develop into a better press. There you have it guys, weekly training tip. Tune in next week and don't forget, less is more.